you found this video and you're now watching it, I can assume you know what Sherlock is. I'm also assuming that you've watched all of the episodes up to the end of season 4. If you haven't, please go and watch them before you come back to this video. Moriarty is the villain of the Sherlock series, and one of the best characters. Like many of you, I was sad to see him kill himself in season 2, then happy to see him return in season 3, and then sad again when he didn't return for season 4. I want to break I can't be the only one who saw that and was like, oh heck yeah. And then I saw this and I was like, why am I watching this again? But even though season four seemed to confirm that he was dead, I believe he is in fact alive and well. But how can he be alive, you may ask? Well, first we need to know who exactly we are talking about. Moriarty is both insane and perfectly capable. He's a watered down joker with massive connections to the criminal world. He is intelligent to the point of rivaling Sherlock and his siblings, even to the point where many home theories state that it was Moriarty who manipulated Euros and not the other way around. He is extremely unpredictable, which is why Sherlock had a, such a hard time understanding him. But that still doesn't explain how he survived getting shot in the head. Well, there are multiple possible theories to how he could have survived such an action. What follows is my theory. First, the gun. This part is easy. If the gun had a blank round in it, it wouldn't have killed him. It would still create a loud noise and a flash, but little if no damage. We can clearly see in this clip that Moriarty has a gun in his mouth when he goes down. But then, in the clip later, he has a gun in his hand. The gun should either be stuck in his mouth, or the recoil would make it fly away and skitter away. You can't hold a gun when you're dead. Then, falling to the floor and playing dead. This one is a little bit more difficult. There are multiple problems with this that I have to figure out in order to make it believable. One is the blood. The only solution I can think of is a packet of blood concealed in the back of his hair that bursts the moment of impact against the floor. Sherlock wouldn't hear it or likely notice it because of the gun going off. He also could have had a pre-placed packet of blood on the floor concealed and made to look like it was actually part of the floor. He would also have to play dead, which means going completely limp. He wouldn't be able to blink while Sherlock is looking at him, and he wouldn't be able to move at all, even for breathing. These are all things that, with practice and sufficient effort, can be achieved. Well-trained actors are capable of both holding their eyes open for extended periods of time and not moving at all. To conceal breathing, loose clothes offer cover, and the coat he wore on the rooftop would have also completely covered it. It is entirely possible to mask breathing. The next problem is the identification of the body. This part required some serious thinking. But I've come to the conclusion that, through blackmail, he could have covered up his fake death. The doctors and nurses who tend to dead bodies would have been blackmailed beforehand to completely cover up the fact that he's alive. This is something that Moriarty is capable of, and has done in the past, to a jury to get out scot-free. They would have taken him to the morgue, and then replaced his body with a similar looking corpse. They would then bury the corpse, and take samples from Moriarty himself to prove his identity. No one would know, and he would be completely free. Moriarty is alive. <laughs> Surprise! You didn't think I'd just disappear, did you? 